Tonight at 10, a devastating earthquake in Afghanistan as the Taliban appeals for international help. At least a thousand people have died, many more have been injured. It's the deadliest earthquake to strike Afghanistan in two decades. We're desperately trying uh, to work with, with local partners to, to get through that rubble and see if there are any survivors. We report from the areas worst affected, with the country's emergency services stretched to the limit. All these people have gathered to donate blood in case it's needed, but whole villages have been flattened. This is just the start of this crisis. It's a major challenge for the Taliban, which regained power in the country just last year. Also tonight. Prices are still rising at their fastest rate for 40 years, with the cost of food a prime factor. Tomorrow's rail strike will go ahead after talks between the RMT union and railway employers broke down. And a new tribute to the thousands who arrived from Caribbean countries from the 1940s and made a huge contribution to British life. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, Britain's Harriet Dart is hitting form a week before Wimbledon, reaching the last eight at Eastbourne. Welcome to BBC News at 10. A devastating earthquake in Afghanistan has claimed the lives of more than 1,000 people and left many more injured. The country, which is governed by the militant Islamist Taliban, is already in the grip of a humanitarian disaster with millions facing famine. The Taliban have now asked for international aid and Britain says it is ready to provide assistance. Now, the earthquake struck near the southeastern city of Khost in Paktika province, Afghanistan is particularly vulnerable to earthquakes because of a number of geological fault lines shown there in red. They cross the country at many points. Uh, the quake measured 6.1 in magnitude, damaging thousands of homes in one of the poorest countries in the world. Our correspondent Sekunder Kamani reports now from Sharana. <laughs> 